Soul. Mm, so much soul. Oh, oh boy, boy. Mm, soul. So much so. Don't you agree? I don't agree. You agree. Monarchy. Mon so much so. Rob Nation. CJ. Yeah. Two cups, soul chilling in my hand. One for me, one for my man. Soul chilling, slow reeling with my hand. Reeling with my plan. We just really with the plan, boy. Two cups, soul chilling in my hand. One for me, one for one for my man. So chillin', so uh, reeling with my hand, uh, reeling with the plan, yeah. we're just really with the plan, boy. Living word, uh, no death in my company, uh, moving water, uh, nothing stale in front of me. Uh, on my daughter, uh, every naga got a drag, yeah. Game over, uh, every hijack will be loud. They'll say who's pressed the John, they'll say who's pressed the John. Oh, we got him on the run, boy, we got him on the run. They'll say this the magic scepter when the emeralds pointed at him, boy, we got him on the run. Man, we tribing up for fun, man, we so chilling. Really in my hand, with my hand. One for me, one for my man. So chilling, slow reeling with my hand. Reeling in the plan, we just really with the plan, boy. King Kong, Grand Con in my company. Priest King, so chilling, making life a beach. Ten toes, we firm, fixed, and movable. Nine commandments, the spiral is so portable. They'll say who's pressed the John, they'll say who's pressed the John. Boy, we got him on the run, boy, we got him on the run. It's the magic session with that emerald. They got him on the run. They say who is Presta John? Wait, let me ask my mom. Just a sister spitting wisdom, call it Todd Batson. We on a mission, on a quest that goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And on, and on, and on. Referencing the tablets when I'm up against my habits Time traveling to the past in the days of joyous laughing Got me thinking, man, what happened? And looking for Preston John like I, I, Cat, I, 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 Hijack Slayer, we hijack free everywhere Execution, X marks the spot in every prayer Drop Nation, they can't tell us who we are no. Sprouting seeds, they buried us and here we They'll are They'll say who's pressed the John, they'll say who's pressed the John Boy, we got him on the run, boy, we got him on the run They'll see there's that magic scepter with that emerald pointed at him Boy, we got him on the run, man, we driving up for fun I mean, two cups, so chilling in my hand Let go. One for me, one for my man. Come on, so chillin', slow reeling with my hand. We reeling in the plan. We just really with the plan. Watch me flow, watch me flow, watch me flow. 
Flow, watch me Flow, 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 flow They want my love, cannot clone Want me to be low, but I never will Most high whipping will, my mom made it still I'm king of the hill, high leg on my tail High, wow, let me catch my breath Get it off my chest, never second best Gold on nothing less, blue, purple, red White linen go through, my tribe how we play High, wow, high, wow, high, wow Watch me flow, watch me flow, 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 flow. And just vibing out to these four three two hertz tunes we got. You know the intro track that was con dropping myself. That's one of those foundational tracks right there. You know, it just really is a great reminder play that and it just puts everything back into perspective, you know what I mean? It just, just keeps you going, man. Oh, Shout out okay. to M.H.O.E. Ma, that's his new music. Yeah, M.H.O.E. Ma. They call me M.H.O.E. Hello. Yeah. Shout out to Zanya. Kind of boy, M.H.O.E. T.B.Z. M.H.O.E. Jane. M.H.O.E. C.J. M.H.O.E. Con. Lego. M.H.O.E. Brother Nature up there. Yeah. Hey, yeah. What it do? Hey, Brother Nature, what it do? There he is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. well, man. There he yeah. is. Looking good and them black. Looking good, I'll bro. See you. Hey, welcome to Sobo Pat Podcast. How you living? Hey, man, I'm living well. You know, I got the new fashion statements on. These are called, uh, I broke my other ones, but uh, <laughs> found, found a new pair. You know, got the new look, got the new look. <laughs> you in 2025, man. You in 2025. Hey, bro, you, you, you're the first official, you know, I would say interview, but you are part of, you know. The cast. The team, you know what I mean? But, you know, you look good up there, man. Looking good. Man. Shout out to the big, you know, team right here at One Stream, man. We got we got hey. something flowing, man. But how you living, bro? And I'm I'm you know uh, couldn't couldn't be better. Um, you know a lot of transition as the seasons change. You know things in life change, but uh, it's all been great blessings. We've had a second grandchild, uh, you know, here recently, and um, just on the move and and trying to move a little bit more. Surf the wave with us. We're gonna get into some topics. You know, CJ Battle, we're gonna drop it. Yeah, let's drop that track. We got a uh, new MHOE Ma, or you know, Bye Bye's Ma, or just Ma on YouTube if y'all wanna hear any of his tracks. He just dropped a new project, Dancing Dragon. That was, uh, yeah, 432 Hertz. That was, yeah, that was fire. Yeah, it's worth, it, worth a couple spins. Um, but we, we got that new track that Con Job just hopped on. That's the rose from uh, the concrete. Maybe. So uh, if we could spin that for the people, to so they could, uh, okay, you know let go, saying, let go, let go. Be in those those frequencies. So. Never 
kind of stuff you can vibe to uh, and it's good to good to hear a lot more people are starting to starting to hear about 432 uh, 432 frequency and, and more people are starting to put their music in it so you know, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing that, that as more especially high profile people talk about it and uh, uh, you know kind of show or people hear that, that they can feel better through music and music therapy um, you know, I think it's just going to keep spreading. Oh, it definitely is going to. Yeah. Kind of. so Andre yeah. 3000 just dropped that, that drop, man. Ain't Stop. let them know. It caught up to Andre 3000. They clap about it. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Yeah, shout out. Hey. One of my favorite artists of all times, and oh. I was truly surprised at this one, but pleasantly surprised, you know, when you kind of find out the reason behind it. And he's never been one to just do stuff. Uh, it's always been, you know, seemingly thoughtful and creative and artistic, um, you know, and then now this one is very purposeful and meaningful okay. to say, you know, the words that are being put out as hip hop these days, you know, a lot of it is, is trash and self-destructive. And this was about putting out something that was healing mm -hmm. and, and not, uh, not a negative. So, uh, you know, ha hats off to him. Props to him for, for going against what mainstream wants out of most uh, rappers, if you will, uh, in the mainstream spotlight. Come, come. Uh, uh, what's that album called? Uh, New Blue Moon? I want to say it right. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. New Blue Moon. We got that, uh, that's still an Andre 3. Um, I was surprised. I mean, not surprised, you know what I mean? Because I know that the kind, I know he's tapped in, mm -hmm. you know, beyond tapped in. That's not a surprise. Yeah. But just that it was, it just seems like such a good time mm -hmm. to have an artist that, that everybody time. respect mm -hmm. really kind of stamp the process that we've been on. You know what exactly. I mean? And always give love to B.O.B. Uh, man. Shout out to B.O.B. Shout, shout out to B.O.B. B.O.B. was like one of the first guys that reached out to us on Twitter back in the day. Like, hey, man, keep going, man. Y'all, you know, doing something, you know what I'm saying, with this 432 with the flow. And then, you know, more and more artists and producers, man, start getting getting the flow. This is not our frequency. 
I don't own the frequency. <laughs> this is your frequency. So it's us being in the awareness space, awareness. man. And uh, but please go support Andre Three Thousand, man. New uh, Blue Moon, uh, download it on all platforms. Um, and it's all flutes. I, I, I didn't sit down with they, it. Yet. They, got some, they got some the instrumentation project. in there, but it's mainly flute. No, guided. no voice. Yeah, yeah, no words. Yeah, no so. words. He told him he don't have. Um, he has nothing else to rap about. He's he's about healing his people now. So, God, God. you know. And, you know, I talked to a young man, uh, uh, you know, late twenties, and he listened to it, and he was like, uh, you know, I went to sleep to it, <laughs> you know, and uh, you know, he felt better in the morning, and he's felt a lot of mornings. So, nice. you know. Whether, whether it's healing him or, or whether it's the, you know just the mindset, uh, we know that you know we've seen some of the demonstrations of of what a healing frequency looks like, and like I said, some people will respond for various reasons, but the fact that you know hearing people say that they are feeling better or, or that it is slowing them down or that it is you know kind of helping them to clear their mind, I mean that's I think that's the whole point of what he was doing. So, you know, kudos, shout out. Yeah. And, you know, we, we always got to bring it up, you know, back to the International Standards Organization and the British Standard mm-hmm. Institute back in the 50s and how they were standardizing what we got out the radio now. So for anyone just tapping in, you know, you do, we're not over here on some, oh, cons, but we are, we are the cons, but we're not, you know, on what their version of conspiracies the con, are. Cons. These are not just theories. These are factual, factoids. We mm-hmm. say factoids, you know what I'm saying? They switch your frequency, period. So I don't care what you win, you at least gotta acknowledge, acknowledge. that your frequency been changed and flipped and switched up in somebody's mind bone. Whatever vibration you're in, somebody thought about that. That's that's deep. With do meditation. Someone, someone and had it, meditation they put do group, meditation. Big group of people put in the radio and they did the math. They were oh. like, Hey, when we get them in this, when we get them out of that nine. It's slicing and dicing. Yeah, and that's man. when they off they off they rocker, and then we could take advantage of the situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Understanding that the frequency is what our bodies use to determine the molecular structure is going to take as water beings, as frequency beings. You know what I'm saying? Like just understanding the four three two, you're going to get a more complete structure, which means your body is going to be in a more complete state. So. I mean, your skin regenerates often, your scale, your cells regenerate often, so luckily we are given, and blessedly we're given the chance to make the changes around us, you know, get away from those damaging frequencies, and let our bodies take the time to heal. Con, and it's speaking of regeneration, they tell us like every seven years, you know, there's the rest, you know, we have to get back into the cold, so we're going to add in the seven year rest period the seven day rest period every seven somethings you you need to be thinking about rest and recovery time period so Mm -hmm. that's Mm -hmm. part of it so if you can switch your frequency up you can literally not just regenerate but regenerate into something better Better. you know what I mean yeah Yeah. you gonna metamorphosize right right. yeah dragons on the wall you know when you tapped in Wow, I mean, you know, so that's the awareness that we're trying to put our people in. It's been do meditation, and you know, we say, you know, we're in a nine bone, you know, we're in a four, three, two, you know, based on harmonics, you know, and, you know, just different vibration that you can experiment outwardly. This is not any type of, you know, secret science type of thing. This is okay. Right. Let me, uh, you know, do the somatics. Let me put the sand on the table. Let me see the geometric patterns that are being formed here. Let me freeze this water. Look real at this, quick. Yeah, the freezer water. Let me look at the sacred yeah. geometry of it all. Yeah. Frequency affects frequency, and that's just period. So it is a silent weapon. It is a quiet war. And, and everything is vibrating. And everything vibrating. is emitting a frequency, and everything is receiving trees. frequencies. So you God, God. gotta stay hyper aware of what what frequencies you're ingesting because it is a digestive process of eating the fruits that you eat emit a frequency shout out to the concord grapes but yeah let's let's talk about what's on this uh yeah this table you know if we can pan out a little bit i mean yeah bring us through the journey because every time we're gonna have some some type yeah, of yeah we're gonna try to keep y'all guessing you know what I'm saying? <laughs> little, shout out you know what i'm saying we're gonna take some time to uh just give some appreciation just seeded fruit 
um, and just homegrown fruits and just naturally grown fruits, no pesticides, and um, just you know, as as getting back to putting our hands in the dirt fruit. Um, hey, hey, that's pretty cool. That's, that's um, but so yeah, the, these the grapes, you know, we got these at the the Asian market. The Asians, you know, they be having all the the drop Asians. when it comes to yeah right <laughs> the so-called asian market and uh the grapes there you know it's hit or miss sometimes you'll find some experimental something that they're trying to put on the shelves and then every now and then like the local farms will sell their produce to the markets you know what i'm saying and it's good condition like these are local this you know farmers that you can walk up to their farm and get the same stuff directly from them, but they're just putting it on the shelves in front of you. So we got these, and man, they taste Concord like Concord grapes. Yeah, that's what they used to make grape Concord, juice. Flat of the Concord. That's what they. Uh, that's definitely what they used to make grape juice. That's what they used to make the grape flavorings. Anytime you think of grape flavor or something, mm. it's now aiming to emulate that right there. In this book you brought, we found the page on. Uh, oh, this is. The Backyard Homestead, um, edited by, oh wait, yeah, it just says edited by Carlene Madigan, but I'm sure there's uh, many, many people's input to provide this wisdom in here, um, but there's a page on grapes, and I'll read some of the highlighted sections, because this is pretty cool, I think, for everyone, I think everyone should know this about grapes. Grapes. <laughs> grapes have the reputation of being fragile and difficult to grow. Many northern gardeners don't even consider trying to grow them. Yet some vines will flourish in regions of every state and in several Canadian provinces. A good rule of thumb is that if wild grapes grow in your area, you can grow plump and tasty domestic grapes of some kind. All right, so. That's the first bullet point. Grow grapes. Yeah, grow. You can. So, baby, you can do it. You can do it at the crib if you got a window. At the inside, you can get it started. You know, inside, get a trellis going for them. The best fertilizer for grapes. The best fertilizer for grapes is well-rotted manure or compost made with large amounts of strawy manure applied as much as mulch during the growing season. In fall, apply either manure, compost, or straight, well-rotted manure at a rate of 15 to 20 pounds per 100 square feet. In most cases, no other fertilization is required. Vineyards, given this treatment, consistently yield up to 30% more fruit than those fertilized with commercial preparations. So that's, you know, <clears throat> I felt when the manure came up, people, people started thinking, you know, I ain't trying to be dealing with all that. but well-rotted manure or compost so you know taking all your fruit scraps fruits and veggie scraps and uh, not the stems not the hard stuff just the um, you know if you're juicing all the pulp if you're you know skinning stuff all the skins and uh, if stuff goes bad in the fridge you can take some of the fruit from there and just add it to your compost pile but not liquids just yeah not liquids stuff. just solids solid yeah um, and with the compost, uh, if it's not connected to the soil, like the actual ground, where there's active mycelium, then you're gonna need uh, to turn and toss your compost um, and add mycelium to break it down, compost starter to help get those active bacteria in there to break the stuff down. But um, yeah, and, and with this, I mean, it's saying 100 square feet, so they're obviously talking like vineyards and more outdoor growing space, but you can obviously cut that down to scale and get some pre-made compost up. But compost shouldn't be that hard to. Shout out to Noah. To Noah was a, 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 a grew grapes. Noah in the scriptures was a. Is that right? Yeah, he was a, 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 a vineyardman. Yeah, well, they, they I'll, I'll say one thing that you uh, that you mentioned there, CJ. I'll, I'll touch on uh, getting to know local farmers, mm -hmm. and you know I think it's just one thing that that we need to refocus on and that is connecting with where our food is coming from um you know whether you see them at a farmer's market getting to know your farmers getting to know who's growing your food they, they'll tell you what they're using they'll tell you how they're doing it 
and a lot of farmers are are really happy when people want to come out and see the process and or even participate in it so uh, I'm not talking big commercial farms I'm talking local people who are growing local local produce you know on, on I mean from as small as a you know backyard gardens and and, um, and uh, uh, you know up to up to big lots of some people are, are growing on several acres mm -hmm. um, but just like you're saying the more you get to know who's growing your food what they're doing you know the the more say you'll have in what you're putting in your body and what what that energy is looking like Back of that book, right quick, CJ it yep. says, uh, "From a quarter of an acre, you can harvest." What does it say? Uh, Fourteen hundred eggs, fifty pounds of wheat, sixty pounds of fruit, two thousand pounds of vegetables, two hundred and eighty animals can Wait, live yeah. harmoniously. Yeah, <laughs> no, I just like yeah, they talk about some stuff. Yeah, 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 some stuff we don't nuts. eat. And 75 pounds of nuts, all in a quarter of an acre. So not even a, quarter, a full acre. Quarter. Okay, no. honey. Such as, such as. No, and, and that's the thing is it, it doesn't take, you know, you don't have to have acres upon acres to make a difference. But when you when you put some of that in a, 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 make sure you make sure we get a copy of that book. <laughs> um, but but taking taking notes of, of how you can start small. I was um, telling um, Ty earlier, I just saw some tomatoes and um, peppers coming in on some plants that she's got growing in the back. Wow. You know, and, and, yeah, and you know, I, I gotta go check them though because it's getting cold, but, um, but there's a lot, it doesn't take a lot, and most of it is what we have as scraps. The stuff we throw away, if we repurpose it, can end up being the, the most fertile things to help help new plants grow, compost, but also just putting seeds in the soil, man. Putting just I mean, just throw them out there. And right. see, <laughs> see what you get. Seed is gonna do uh, what but, seed is supposed to do. I'm saving it doesn't my take seeds. a lot of effort. I'm already saving my seeds. I had a couple of grapes. I got them in my pocket right now. Who knows what's yeah. gonna happen? Yeah, so and who knows what I can make out of this? Yeah, where where you live, anything grows. So yeah. you just throw it in the ground, and it'll just throw it in the bushes. That, that that's Cali. You know, that's, 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 yeah, that's Cali. That's Inglewood. Um, very fertile land, Inglewood yeah. for sure. Shout out to my Inglewood noggins, my LA noggins. Okay. We out here. Um, and on, honestly, so yeah, this is the last bullet point on the grapes which kind of touches you know to this area that we're in but all grapes have an affection for gravel flint slate or stony soils one reason why hillsides are so good for grapes is that the erosion has scoured the land to its poorest stoniest consti constituents the best acres are so infertile and stony that a corn farmer wouldn't take them as a gift but soil that produces great grapes and fine wines must offer a number of qualities that help grapes flourish. Here are some characteristics of productive vineyard soil. So good vineyard soil includes soil drainage. Uh, it has to be um, really good. That's crucial. Grapes do not like wet feet, it says. The soil pH has to be appropriate for the variety of grape you're growing. So it'll say it on the pack wherever you get your seeds or you just Google it, depending if you get them from fresh fruit. Soil depth is at least 30 inches due to the deep rooting habits of grapes. So you want your soil to be at least 30 inches deep. So almost three feet. Dang, that's pretty deep. So not in like a small raised bed. It's got to be a big raised bed. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. You mm -hmm. need facts to know. Facts on facts. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't just put it in no foot. Deep, and then your plant falls over and you're wondering why. Um, proper soil preparation. Loosen and break up and mix the soil layers well below ordinary cultivation depth. Oh, no. Yeah. Seems simple enough. Grow grapes. Yeah, go get some I grapes, heard. guys. This is a grape drop. Hey. Right. Hey, heard it through the grapevine, baby. Heard it through the grapevine. Oh, man. Wish we, Marcel, we got that queued up. <laughs> heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> 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 um, oh, oh, and what's the plan? Okay. 
got that. Oh, the plant. Oh, yeah. yeah let's this, talk about this beautiful plant. So we got the. We were at the um, one of the local um, nurseries, and the woman working there walked up to me and she was like, she she had found this plant in her mist, and the name of it is called Mother of a Thousand, right? Mother of a Thousand. And what happens is these little ridges right here fall off and they create more and more, um, you can't see them, but they create more and more of these. And she's like, you could take those and plant them and you know, give them away. But yeah, she just thought I should have that plant. So that was mother of a thousand. There's a story on this table. And every time you go, you know, read a chapter <laughs> into the story. Hey man. You're about to time. You're about to time. Shining like a diamond that's already on Trying to reach the top of my soul, boy She got perfect timing, I'ma always know How to bring the top of the soul, boy